Because 4K is so 2023, I received this Samsung Neo QLED 8K QN900D. Coming up next on this channel. First of all, if you're part of the crowd that says 8K is useless, nobody can see 8K. Go away, this video is not for you. There are legitimate reasons why you need an 8K TV. Number one, the best, the latest, the greatest technologies are only available on 8K TVs that's being marketed today. And that includes the video processor. You will be hard pressed not to see any difference between most 4K TVs to 8K TVs for that reason. So again, to reiterate, in order to get the best absolute quality in video processing, backlighting, speed, and overall performance, an 8K display is needed. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start with the review. First, the 65-inch TV is a lot heavier than most TV available out there. This is not surprising because there are at least about 10,000 local dimming zones, which means this TV require more cooling and more LED. As a comparison, a regular edge-lit LED TV usually utilizes less than a dozen LED around the TV. Just like in the past, this TV uses one connect box where you plug in all your HDMI inputs, power, everything, including the TV's 8K processor. And in this case, the one connect is big and heavy. It has the same weight approximately as my Lumigen Radiance Pro video processor. You can see from the back here, you got the LAN connection, optical output, terrestrial antenna, USB input, EX link input, don't know what that's for two more usb inputs and four hdmi inputs and they are all 80 gigabits per second hdmi 2.1 inputs the last one is one connect output where you connect the tv directly from that unit it uses a ribbon cable and samsung provided with two cables one of them is short enough for you to use the one connect box behind the tv and a much longer one where you can put the one connect box away from the TV. And here it is how it looks. You better not lose either one of the cables because they cost an arm and a leg and more. For the remote control, Samsung use rechargeable remote so you don't have to buy batteries ever again. However, because the entire remote is sealed, if the internal battery needs to be replaced, I just hope I don't need to buy a new remote to replace the internal batteries. As far as the remote itself, it feels nice in the hand, but it's a bit slippery. With Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Prime Video, and Samsung TV, one button access control. The buttons feels good, clicky clicky, can't really complain about the remote. For a full array backlit TV, the TV itself is very thin, which is amazing in my book. With one caveat, the back panel is made of plastic. Yeah, I know metal is not going to do anything. But for something that's considered as top of the line, having plastic as a back panel doesn't seem right to me. Once again, my complaint is very subjective and has no bearing with the quality and performance of this TV. So how's the performance of this TV? Quoting Tony the Tiger, it's great! Using either movie mode or filmmaker mode, this TV has a Delta E of 3.5, which is still acceptable, although the error is noticeable. But if you really want to have the best picture quality, of course, you need to professionally calibrate this TV. After the professional calibration process, I can bring the Delta E from 3.5 to only 1.2. And that's about 300% improvement in color accuracy. By the way, the pedestal for this TV is made of mirror. Not mirror finish, but actual mirror. This is done to create a floating effect if you use the included pedestal. The floating effect can be believable if you put the TV just above or just below your line of sight. But in my case where I put the TV the exact level as my line of sight, that mirror only shows my ugly face. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that. So what's my verdict? It's a very good TV. The local dimming works well. I hardly can see any blooming with minor exceptions here and there, of course. And the price. The price is a bit much for me. If you want bleeding edge technology, well, you gotta pay to play. So, is this video helpful for you? Helpful or not, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.